Yeah, hello, my name is Jerry Doyle and I work for McGregor Flooring. I've started my apprenticeship in what must have been about 1990, I think, a long time ago. And I was here just to speak to the kids about the benefits of a modern apprenticeship. Hi, I'm uh, Campbell McGregor, I uh, work for uh, McGregor Flooring Company Limited. Uh, again, like my colleague uh, Jerry, I've been asked to come along today just to give a kind of overview of what uh, McGregor Flooring Limited is about. Uh, what we do within the construction industry and hopefully to let some of these people know that there's life beyond university. You can still got become a, a tradesperson, go to college, get a qualification at the, at the end of it. And big bonus is when you're working, you're earning and uh, at the end of a, a four year apprenticeship you get the potential to earn those years. Uh, what would you say is the best um the biggest thing for me is the enthusiasm. I think if you have an enthusiasm and a willingness to learn, then you can do anything. I think as an apprentice in rugby, I need somebody that's going to come in and just be enthusiastic about what they do. So when they're working with children, working with parents, teachers, enthusiastic, so people buy into the sport and want to stay in the sport. So enthusiasm is the enthusiasm is the main one for me. As a third year pupil who's shortly going into fourth year, what should I be working on to make sure that I can be considered for a apprenticeship in the future? But what you've got to bear in mind is coming out of school and looking for a modern apprenticeship is a competitive you're already up against. Now, we take on maybe three apprentices a year. You have to make yourself different from the other two. We want to know the new you. So it's about having social confidence coming into our workplace and saying, Good morning, my name is Barbara and I'm here um, to apply for modern apprenticeship and I'm going to um, show you what I can do today. You know, it's about putting yourself out there because if that's the job that you really want, you have to make yourself different to the other two applicants. Modern apprentice would go through a four year apprenticeship and at the end of the day he would come out as a craftsman and um, they would have a great earning, earning potential. Uh, it's, I, would, I would say that it's, especially in the construction industry um, there's a massive shortage of skilled people today because of the through the last seven years of recession we've lost a lot of people uh, and um, also we've got the situation that there's people retiring. So we've got to fill these vacancies and apprenticeships have always been the way forward. And this is why in construction especially, uh, whether it be floor layers or painters or joiners or brickies or electricians um, or partition guys, um, there are a lot of people who will be taking on in construction. So to get an apprenticeship, what Qualifications would be required to get apprenticeships, and what subjects would you be For engineering apprenticeships in Scotland, what we're looking for is National 5 qualifications. Obviously, your maths and your English are important. Over and above that, what we're looking for is for engineering technical subjects and science subjects as most important things to do.